Rosales Casoja. I'm from the Philippines. What is the question most commonly asked by your readers back home? Back home, they always ask me where I got my stories from, and I really have no answer for that, for the most part, back home. But here, I think I have the answer for that already. I think it comes from my sense of place. How the place that I'm in essentially tells me the story. That's what I, that's what I found most in Iowa, my experience in Iowa City. Is there a single book, author, or teacher who at this point in your career seems to you a singularly strong influence? Right now, I actually discovered this particular author. His name is David Livett. I have to discover him back in college. But I have to say that his voice has remained strong for me over the years. It's the way he details the life of his characters, especially in his gay stories, that I found most res resonant in my own life as well as in my fiction. And I've tried to kind of copy it and try to mold it into my own writing style. So yeah, so David Levitt this. But these days I've been I've been inspired by by the voice of Jun Palahiri. The way she talks about the immigrant experience in America. I like that voice. Where do you usually write? In Iowa City, I cannot write in my room. It's absolutely impossible to write in my room. There's always a temptation of the bed and television. So I usually would go out, go to Java House, have my daily toes off, double shot of uh, espresso for my latte, and just write there the entire day. Which is something quite strange because back home, I need quiet, I need my bedroom. But here, I need my senior Ross. I don't know why. I need that kind of music. I need a bustle of the cafe in Java House and I need my coffee. That's my new routine, writing wise in Iowa City. What are the hardest circumstances in which you've ever been able to get writing done? Environmental. Environmental. I don't think so. I, I think I think you just have to like uh, um, you just have to like rise to the challenge every time. Um, environmental. I've been I've written in airports. I've written in crowded places. So. Yeah, you really have to rise to the challenge. I don't think anything should be a problem. Well, that's my theory anyway. <laughs> How do you recharge your batteries? Coffee. Lots of coffee every single day. That's how I recharge my batteries. And reading. I've been reading a lot here in Iowa City. And I think that has kind of recharged my writing as well. You sort of broached this earlier, but if you have a different answer, uh, what is your favorite quiet place in Iowa City? My favorite quiet place is between 8 to 9 p.m. at the lounge somewhere in IMU. That's one. And the third floor of the library. You see a lot of people there. They're studying, but it's so quiet. I like the height of the table. I like the chairs. And it gets you to writing. What has most surprised you here? Everybody is so friendly to the point of like, I'm, I'm so astonished by that. Everybody has been so friendly here so far. And I have, al I have always taken that, well right now anyway, I've always taken that as kind of like a standard American way of people doing stuff. But everybody has been warning me about New York, so <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, I've, I've been surprised by the friendliness of everybody here. Can you imagine anything specifically from this time finding its way into your work? Into my work? into your writing? I think I, I think I can cite the example of, of the stories that I'm writing right now. Um, I came to Iowa City to write my, my second novel and I attempted to do that in my first two weeks here. But something about the place just started me, just got me to, st to start writing short stories with, inspired by all the places that we have visited so far. So. The visit to Chicago made me write a Chicago story, same with San Francisco, same with this trip to Cedar Rapids, and I guess I'll be writing about DC and New York. So this experience has been influential in my current writing right now. Who is a writer? Who is a writer? Somebody who is able to distill his own experience and uh, put it out a story and make it interesting for the rest of the world.